Hello everyone, it's Caroline from Morales and today we're going to talk about how NFT art could affect the art world. So for those who want a kind of refresher on what an NFT actually is, it is called a non-fungible token and they are non-interchangeable pieces of data on the blockchain, which is different from cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin because they are fungible, so they are interchangeable. So why would you invest in NFT art? And I feel like that's the question on everyone's lips. There's lots of talk about how you can just right click and save it and you'll have the same image. However, we have to really think and compare this to the physical art world. You're not gonna pay the same for a fake or a copy of a historic painting, like a Monet or something. I think we have to think of NFTs in the same way. It's about ownership. It's not about necessarily looking at the painting, which of course is part of it, but it's about ownership. It's about investment opportunities. It's about the security of knowing that you own it and nobody is going to steal it from you like they could in real life. It also just opens up so many channels for artists to be able to sell their pieces themselves without auction houses or galleries in real life. And so it's more a different way of doing things. I think it's just much more complex than just thinking, okay, I can just right click and save this picture. Of course you can, but you don't own it. You have a copy of it. I think it's also important to remember how far NFTs have come in the last couple of years or so and how far they have yet to go. So in 2014, the first NFT was sold for $4, whereas last year the same NFT was auctioned off for $1.4 million. So I think that really shows the scope of the growth over the last few years. And if it continues at this rate, which it may or may not, then we really have something to be excited about. So another amazing aspect of NFT art is that it gives digital artists the credit and the respect that physical artists have had for a long time. It gives them the ownership of their own assets so they can sell it as if they were at a physical auction or a gallery. A good example of this is Quantum Art, which is the first on-chain platform focused solely on photographers. I think it's an amazing way for them to get global reach and recognition, which they might not have if they're just trying to display their photography in a local gallery. So it really is the start of something special for artists, especially in the digital sphere. But of course, nothing new comes without its controversies. So you may have heard that around this time last year, an organization conducted what's known as the NFT art heist, where they created a collection of NFTs based on old masterpieces. And that sounds great. And I think the principle is amazing. The controversy here is that they didn't tell the museums who own the pieces of art. But I do think it's an amazing idea and something that should be implemented in future to cover the ownership rights of these amazing old masterpieces in NFTs. I think it opens it up globally. It also means that there might be a digital copy of this artwork, which will obviously never fade, never need upkeep. I just think it's a great idea. It obviously has a long way to go just now, and that was very controversial. But if you think about it, there are also ways, so many ways growing to display digital artwork, as I mentioned before. So we won't necessarily need to hold old paintings which are decaying. Of course, again, controversial because I know that a piece of art, a solid physical piece of art, can mean a lot to people. But it's something to think about for the future. So although there's possibilities to display NFTs physically, for example, Samsung is getting involved in that just now, COVID also put a fast forward on the metaverse and there are so many exciting metaverse opportunities happening where there's virtual galleries you can walk through, even just from your laptop for now, you don't necessarily need a headset, but there's so many opportunities there. Although, of course, as I mentioned before, some like to stick the opposite way. For example, Justin Aversano, I hope I pronounced that correctly, he has announced he will be hosting a physical NFT gallery very soon. So it's, it's exciting to see both sides happening at once, both physical and virtual, and we don't have to choose one. The best thing is, it is the best of both worlds, and NFTs can cross these boundaries. So I think the main differences between NFT art and physical art is that there's so much more community involved with NFTs. It is possible for people all over the globe to invest in art that they love, that they might never have seen had it not been for the art being an NFT. And I think that's super exciting. It really draws in creative people from all over the globe and it opens up opportunities for people to create communities, etc., to invest in art. And I just, yeah, I think it removes the barrier to entry to investing in art as well. 
So there's so many, so many exciting things happening in the sphere. I think obviously physical art will always have its place. NFT art can also blend in with the physical art space. And also physical art can blend into the NFT digital art space. So there's a lot of movement between the two spheres. But at the end of the day, we're at just at the beginning. We need to see what happens. And I'm very excited to watch what develops over the next few years. So thank you very much for watching and let me know your thoughts about NFT art in the comments.